Hey there. Today, we're going to talk about telling time. To start, let's review how to tell time using a digital clock. Here, we simply read two numbers separated by the colon. So this clock says 944. However, if instead we have this digital clock, we read it as 9 o'clock, not 9-0. Next, let's review how to tell the time using analog clocks. Analog clocks have two hands. The hour hand is the short one, and the minute hand is the long one. It's important to remember that if the minute hand is pointed at the 12, it means zero minutes. So we say o'clock. After that, each number represents five minutes. So one represents five minutes, two represents 10 minutes, three represents 15 minutes, and so on. Sometimes the hour hand will not point exactly at a number. In these cases, use the number that it has just passed. Let's test our clock telling skills by helping our friend Peter bake an apple pie. According to the recipe he's following, he needs to bake it in the oven for 22 minutes. If he just put the pie in the oven, let's help him figure out what time he should take the pie out. First, let's figure out what time he put the pie in the oven. Notice that he has an analog clock in his kitchen. The shorthand, or hour hand, is just past the three, while the long hand, or minute hand, is at the one. Remember, each number represents five minutes. This means the time is 3.05. Since Peter needs to take out the pie after 22 minutes, let's start at 3.05 and add 22 minutes. We can simply add 5 plus 22 equals 27. So Peter will be taking the pie out at 3.27. It'll be a perfect apple pie. Thanks for helping out our friend Peter. See you again soon. Bottle Learning is making math fun and motivating. Join the world of Bottle, customize your very own Bottle character, and begin solving math problems while playing interactive games. There's different types of games and tons of fun math skills, so the fun never stops. Visit BottleLearning.com, join thousands of other kids, and let's make learning fun together.